Hey boys and girls, we're back. So um, I want to do, a couple weeks ago I did like a tip on um, what you can do with your paint cans and seal them up to where you don't have to be taking the lid off. If you guys remember that, I did it like on a Friday morning video and I put some little self-tapping screws in here and now uh, it's been a couple weeks. I want to check these out and, uh, and see how they look. Um, and kind of see where we're at. Now one thing, see this is what I don't like, because that doesn't want to come out of there, and that's, so what I've decided to do is do something a little bit different. I'm gonna, I'm not sure, I think I'm just gonna leave that in there. And um, what I did was, I like the idea, and I think that will, you know, that will seal up. Let's see if it did actually seal these up. I'm kind of defeating my purpose by taking these off, but I want to see if they formed a skin on them. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's no skin on there at all. It's absolutely fresh. So that's a good that's a good thing. Let's check all of these. Now I'm letting air in there so it might form a skin. I'm not sure. But I want to take them off and then put them back on if there's no skin on there. Yeah, see that one's fresh. I want to put that back on and then that won't come off anymore. But what I'm going to do is something a little bit different because the thing that I didn't like about the self tappers, well let's check this first. Yeah, see those are all nice and fresh and I'll tap those back on. Um, but what I didn't like about the self tappers is that they they kind of punched a hole in there and didn't really want to seal up really good it kind of punched the hole too big so what i did after um after a few days i realized that these things were still kind of loose even though the paint will seal them up they were still kind of loose so here's what i did i went ahead and i found some screws and this again came out of a one of those one of those um, assortments that I got again. I picked up one of these I don't know months ago when I go to Harbor Freight. I always get uh, an extra box of these. Turn that can. Oh. Yeah, just keep turning to the front. The writing to me, it looks kind of makes it look kind of dizzy. Oh. Okay. So what I decided to do, rather than using those self tappers. What I did was, um, and in fact, I'll just do it to this can here. Um, I'm going to shake it up. I just drill a little hole in there. That's yellow, by the way. Okay. And um, then I'm just going to put a screw in it. And I think, oh, I want to put a O-ring on there, though. So I just put a little O-ring on the bottom of that, on that screw. And I think this will make a better seal than those self-tappers. Because it actually snugs up and some of those self-tappers don't. I think that's going to actually work better. Uh, this one I haven't checked, so let's check it and see if I'm right. I did this one uh, actually at like a couple days after I did that last video a couple weeks ago. So let's see if this... Yeah, see it's nice. There's no skin on there at all. So. Um, that would be my revision, guys. I would just uh, I would just use screws that will tighten up. I still put the O-ring on there, but I'll use just use screws that will tighten up. And then when you want to use them, well, let's see if uh, let's see. Yeah, that one's pretty good. So when you want to use them, it should work pretty well.
Are you? Oh, thank you, Ben. Should be able to just squirt some yellow out. And then put the screw back in. And that should keep them sealed up. And that should do it. So, guys, uh, the experiment actually worked. I just think I, I think this is a, a the using the screw and the O-rings. I think is a better, uh, a better option than the self tappers. But the self tappers seem to work as well. So, um, I just I promised you guys I'd give you an update a week or two later, and I'm, uh, I'm a week late because I did this the first one like two weeks ago. So. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. This is a real quick video, but I promised you guys I would do this. So this will be posting uh, within a few days. And I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, if you have any questions, email me directly, eric at makerwoodsign.com. Uh, supplies are on the website. Thanks again, guys. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.